So we are here today at Glasgow Airport, or at least we're on our way to Glasgow Airport, to take a flight that is a bit controversial. It's with EasyJet and it's down to Birmingham. Originally I wasn't going to release this video, however I did think that this route raised some important questions on the future of infrastructure. I am so tired today, it's not even funny, I was up for like... 48 hours before I actually managed to get to the hotel and get some sleep. So, yeah, if I've got bags under my eyes and everything, that's why I'm a bit tired. But anyway, the flight in question is quite controversial because it's EasyJet's shortest route on the UK mainland. And it, it raises a lot of questions about air travel versus rail when countries like France have made it illegal for airlines to do routes that could be done in two and a half hours by train. So let's go get on this flight and head down to Birmingham. Correcting myself here, this is actually EasyJet's second shortest UK mainland route. The first being Edinburgh to Birmingham, beating this one out by a whole five minutes. This route, the Edinburgh route, as well as 12 other new routes by EasyJet in the past couple of years, has raised some real criticism against the airline and the airline industry from environmental groups. As I mentioned, France as of April 2020 has now banned short-haul domestic flights when there is a rail or bus alternative with a journey time of 2 hours and 30 minutes or less. However, this being the 21st century, there are of course critics of the critics. They point out that the UK and France have very different infrastructural makeup that make a short-haul ban feasible in France due to its affordable high-speed rail network. As with most early mornings, the first order of today was to grab a coffee. After my coffee, it was time to head to the gate. It is a bit of a no-frills flight today. As I mentioned, I originally wasn't going to release this video. This flight was recorded as I was on my way to fly on Flybee's first ever inaugural flight. The link to that video is in the description below. Our aircraft for the flight down to Birmingham is one of EasyJet's new A320neos. EasyJet being an airline that only operates the A320 family of aircraft, with the new Neo variants being phased in across their fleet. Please make their way immediately through to gate number 7B. As we were waiting at the stand, an Icelandair 737 MAX arrived from Keflavik Airport. We will be having a few videos on Icelandair in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for listening and we wish you a pleasant flight today with EasyJet. I would really like to know if the people that drive airport vehicles ever get the feeling that they just want to race planes that are taxiing. I know I would.
Taking off out of a cloudy Glasgow airport, our flight time today was 1 hour and 10 minutes. approach to Birmingham International Airport. I really want to know what happened to this jet bridge. It's not often that you see a jet bridge that's actually fallen over. Now I know this video has the potential to spark some debate in the comment section, and as with all debates, things can get a bit heated. So I would just ask everyone to be respectful to one another. One thing that I did notice was that Birmingham Airport was surprisingly and quite oddly very quiet this morning. So here we are at Birmingham Airport and as you can see it's quite a short flight as mentioned it's uh, EasyJet's shortest flight on the UK mainland. So what do you think? Is it worth the time difference? Probably when you take it all into account it's not as big a time difference considering I'm still only at the airport and I would have to make my way into Birmingham. I'll let you make the decision and please let me know what you think down in the comments. Should this flight be going or should there be rail transport instead? But anyway people if you like this video please consider subscribing and let me know what you think about this route down in the comments below. And as always people, we will see you in the next one.